on your mark. Get set. Go. And so, the first thing that you'll notice about these shoes here is the lacing to my right is what we call a cross-stitched lacing. And to the left, these black Oxfords, is a straight lace. And this is what I want to show you how to do today. Now, if you'll take a look here at these shoes. These are a different style of shoe. This is a Bloucher or a Derby, and of course we have our Oxfords. This is what we call an open lacing system, and this is a closed lacing system. With the open lacing system, it's considered to be a less formal shoe, so the stitching, um, so the lacing, of course, is not going to be as formal. But here, you'll notice that one of the benefits of having the straight lace is that it fully cinches together the uppers. Whereas in a cross stitch, you still have that gap that is kind of unfitting for the formality of the shoe and the design. On a pair of Oxfords, generally speaking, they either have five eyelets, as, they, as you see here, or six eyelets, as you see here. And what that means, of course, is that having an uneven amount of eyelets is going to affect how you're going to, over, to, to eventually lace this shoe up. So to begin with, for five eyelets, which is generally what most people will probably have, is that you're going to put both ends of the lace through the bottom, like so. Then you'll take the one end bring it up underneath the side to the next hole and then cross over. And then you're going to skip a hole and then cross over again. And then you're going to go diagonally to the top and out for the other side. going to skip up to the third hole, you're going to cross, and then to the top and out. For six eyelets, just like the beginning, and much simpler, you're going to come up to the second hole, cross, and you're going to skip a hole to the fourth, and cross, and then skip to the sixth, and then out. Here's the string, skip to the third, cross, Skip to the fifth, cross, up, and out. Now we're going to lace up the six eyelets. And one thing to remember is that it really doesn't take that much time to do. With a little bit of practice, you can do it relatively 
easily. And you're just going to the bottom here and you pull it. Make sure that the ends are even for six eyelets. And then for five eyelets, you're going to need to have one end be slightly longer, but you can adjust as you go and play with it a little bit. All right, now that you have your two sides, I'm gonna go through the second hole this back, cross, I'm going to take my next string, go through the third hole, cross, and then center. And then you generally want to check to see, make sure they're still the same length. from the second to the fourth. Cross. And then from the third to the fifth. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. And cross. Everything's tight, everything's even, and then you're simply going to come out the last hole. And there you have it. A nice, simple, clean, symmetrical aesthetic. The dog loves it. <laughs>